Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the drop. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm a professional trader. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. So get ready as I just turn this down. And let's just jump into this. We're going to be talking about the short term for Bitcoin, the mid term for Bitcoin, the long term for old Bitty here. Because that, that could be changing. We're going to have to ex explore that area here. And we're also going to be talking about Ethereum as well. Big shout out to everyone that came to the live stream this morning. It was epic. Uh, normally, I'm going to be doing videos earlier than this, guys. I've just been super busy today. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit of a later one, but I didn't do one yesterday, so I thought I'd do one for you guys today, right? So without further ado, guys, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what has happened here with Bitcoin, because uh, obviously a lot has happened. Uh, even all these patterns we had drawn in are pretty much invalid now, so we can get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, the main the main thing that's happened here, obviously, is we've had a bit of a good thing to be coming towards the outside. Like, ridiculous, ridiculous girth towards the downside. Just obliterating all major moves here that we could have had. So, uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy week so far. What we're going to do right now is just do this. We're going to get rid of absolutely everything here. Bop. Uh, actually, do we want that? Uh, we'll just draw it again. We'll just draw it again. Um, and, and, yeah, we can go from scratch here and just really talk about what's happening and, uh, and uh, what we expect to do, right? So the reason why I've got this line drawn in right now in terms of prediction is uh, because we it first appeared on our radar a while ago when we were up here. Uh, and we were saying, yeah, it's, it seems to be a reversional point here that we keep coming back to uh, even when we, we start a trend in a direction, right? So uh, with that, that is still coming into fruition. That is something that uh, has even happened here again today if we can kind of adjust this to the right area. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it's just something that um, should still be on the radar here. So maybe we are going to make some kind of pattern using this in the future, potentially a channel here. And if we are looking at predictions, yeah, I mean, this is something that could come through. If we do head up here, uh, basically something like this is something that wouldn't surprise me at all here. Uh, not necessarily right now. We don't have to just bang it up right now, but uh, this could happen over time here where we do just play off these, these supports and resistances. Um, and yeah, as we said, guys, testing 50k again we've been saying this for like all week right testing 50k again is still in reach and it is still something that can still happen right uh, we do have some stuff to talk about on the midterm concerning the golden crosses and stuff because that's obviously changed a little bit as well uh, those of you that did attend the, uh, the 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 live stream will know a lot of the stuff i'm talking about here today but it's good to update you guys on the short term of what's happening right now so uh yes uh, since the live stream we did get a little wave down here we were expecting that we did also say that we should also be careful in case it does turn out to be uh, a bit of a dead cat bounce and then bang it all the way down here, which would be pretty horrific in my eyes. So, uh, well, in a lot of people's eyes, I guess. Um, and yeah, uh, for now, for now, it does seem like it's holding at this kind of weird support area. And obviously, if you just look at that anyway, uh, we do have that kind of horizontal support to kind of hold us up anyway. But whether this is just a pit stop or whether it is the bottom here and we do get the, the double your pattern, as some people are calling it right then, or, or as a real trader would call it a double bottom potentially here, then yeah, um, that's that's something that can come into fruition quite easily. So I'm just I'm just kind of sat on my foot right now. Ugh! There we go. <laughs> Numb foot. We do not want that. We don't want to end the video and then uh, I can't walk for half an hour. That would not be fun. So <laughs> without further ado, guys, uh, let's just talk about this a little bit more uh, because it's important to really note where we could potentially go here. Uh, there isn't really too much to say about the short term besides, yes, we are holding at this area for now. Uh, we could get a bit lower, but... Uh, the closer we get to this volume weighted ATR band to reclaim it, the better it's going to look, right? So uh, if we can get back above there, if we can get back above 53, it's going to be better. Again, guys, I'm not really looking for a trade here as we'll find out in the midterm till till about 57 or 58 here when we do get that reversal. And there's a few few little bits of evidence here as to how that, that will go about and, and why that is. So we'll get to that in a minute. But for now, let's just talk about this golden cross because uh, it is important. It is something that shouldn't be avoided here. Uh, and it's something that's very, very valid, right? In terms of like not not being valid, <laughs> right? So we've got uh, we got this golden cross here. Let me just get this right. Uh, so we've got this golden cross here, right? With the EMAs. Uh, and this is something that we did come down. We did come down as soon as uh, we got that, that signal here. We said here on this channel, and a lot of you guys uh, have watched that. So uh, you've, you've been kept out of trouble as well, right? Um, we've said, hey, we're not taking the golden cross trade towards the upside until CME crosses, right? CMA 
CME did not cross here. CME did not cross, and we didn't get towards the upside here. Uh, so uh, for me, yeah, I was happy chilling here, and I even sold a little bit as we did start curling over here. And I also sold a lot of my altcoins uh, throughout this area. So uh, yeah, I mean, really perfect for us really right we sold a lot of stuff it came down and now we're waiting for to kind of reclaim the area with uh, a lot better probable trending action if we do head up from here right uh the other side of that here is obviously yeah we can go lower i i, I do want to stress that we can go lower uh, that's always a possibility here but as of right now it's not looking horrific okay it's not looking horrific it does seem like we found some support here uh, but obviously uh we can we can have another wave down at any time here uh, the main point of what i'm trying to get at here now we've got rid of the golden crosses right because that's essentially what's happened there and at this point here now it has closed this trade uh, and this isn't a real trade guys just to be clear this is a strategy trade uh, where it would have given us a signal here as you can see at the bottom right so uh, uh, yeah, this wouldn't have worked out. And the reason why we didn't take that trade, and this is why you should never always just follow signals. You should look for as many things as possible. Uh, so you don't, so any reason to not take the trade really is, is usually quite good if there is a good enough reason not to, right? So um, with that, we have come down. We violated this bull market barrier, which we're going to talk about next. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking interesting here to see whether we do come and violate the zone. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about the, the long term because this is really what I want to get at right now. Um, so what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is just get rid of the round of blues real quick. Uh, we're also going to get rid of the wad machine real quick here. There we go. Uh, before we do do that, though, with the wad machine, I just want to bring up the daily here and say, um, wait, where is the uh, where is the uh, the volume weighted ATR bands here? There we go. Beautiful stuff. Get them on board. And we can see, yeah, we are nowhere near that now. Uh, to reclaim that, we'd have to get above 58, 59K here. Uh, and that would basically be a nice resume of the uptrend if, if that does happen. But as of right now, uh, it's looking more like we go into more of a longer sideways period unless we do just get the big spike, the big buy spikes here uh, coming through. But without giving you mixed signals here, I do want to talk about the bull market barrier and what's happening with this. Why is it orange? What's going on? Are we in a bear market? Are we in a transitional period? Let's find out. I I am saying we're not. Okay, I'm saying we're not, uh, and there are a few reasons why. I did explain this this morning. Uh, so yeah, let's just talk about this right now. So yes, we haven't touched this since we broke out from 12k. If you do, if you are wondering what this thing is, uh, it's basically a Bollinger Band uh, mixed with uh, with Fibonacci. Right, so this is this is an important tool, and uh, it's basically plotted out every top of the last bear market that you can see. Right, it's, it's beautiful. It, it's done it beautifully. Right, so if we do enter a bear market, we're fine. Right, so no need to panic here if we do enter one. It's not the end of the road. It's actually going to be easier, uh, in my opinion, to trade this. Uh, so it's going to be fun. Right, uh, but the main thing I wanted to show you guys here is the last Bitcoin run, the twenty. Uh, was it 2017 run here many years ago now <laughs> but um yeah you can see here that we have violated this area before and it has turned orange before so uh what can we draw in conclusion every time we've hit this in the middle of a run when we haven't hit it before right first of all we've had this one with the supply shot we came down we hit it but this is this isn't too valid here because uh, we, we've behaved a little bit too different uh, compared to the last run right uh if we are looking at this comp and comparing all of these little drawdowns and little little pullbacks to it we can see yes nice v-shaped recoveries pretty much whenever we hit it here right like uh, ridiculously so so uh, with that we can we can draw in a conclusion here and say yeah i mean what is the point in which we we say this is recovered and what is the point in which we say the trend is good let's get long uh the point here would be if we have the blue box zones uh, and we actually uh, bring that up here the lower ones i'm looking for here there we go lovely jubbly and we actually look for those areas where we have recovered uh, a good thing to do here is actually look at these uh these blue blocks these blue box areas right because they're the big fibonacci points uh, and these points is if we get over it and we've done this for this entire run to make copious amounts of cash anyway right uh, when we get over those areas uh, they're good times to long and just take profit all the way up here but in this case guys this might be a time for a big investment long to hold over multiple of these bad boys uh, just because here uh, so many of the time so many of the time we've, we've just v-shaped recovery and these are not small trades so if we if we come up here and, and basically look at the first blue box and we get over from from that transition not transitional period but from that uh that kind of pullback area into the the bull market barrier here uh, we can say yeah get in a trade there from bottom to top 30 percent move right there okay this one here getting over this blue box uh all the way from bottom to top here uh, is going to be a potential 150% move there, right? Uh, this one as well is another one we can plot out. Uh, and this one would be a little bit 
I, I would personally wait to get over this area, uh, the, the previous high for me, uh, and that in itself is still pretty good. I mean, I mean, that in itself is still from bottom to top 50% of a move, right? If you were a bit more aggressive here, you could go as we got out of that, but uh, that's a little bit too aggressive for me, in my opinion, especially like teaching you guys to be a little bit more uh, reserved and, and look for the probable trades with higher win, win percentage, right? So uh, that's what we would say there. So yeah. Instantly, very nice trades here that we can see. Uh, great opportunities for the future. Um, and if we do look at that right now, if we're looking at this current example that we're in now, the actual live price right here, if we can basically get back up, we are going to need the other blue boxes. And we're going to say, where is that next blue box? It's right here at 55, 56K. Again, being a bit more cautious here, I will probably wait for, for around 58, 60K, that kind of area before getting in long. But if it is a good like break of this, right, uh, a nice, and uh, uh, let me just clarify what this is, right? This, this trend line here, break of this trend line, break above the moving averages here, if we can just get these bad boys up, break above the moving averages here, and it looks good, then uh, yeah, I mean, if the V-shaped recovery is there, that's the area I want to get in, 58, and that's the area where uh, we can really get a very, very nice trade in, right? Potentially through multiple of these blue box zones, and potentially uh, the big beefy chicken McNugget trade that we're all looking forward to here potentially 80 percent here if, if the fomo does kick in everyone just starts banging in longs uh, and it is the the final frontier for the run here all the way up to the top yeah potential 80 percent here uh, but that that could take some time here and also we could top out and we could come back down again uh and and continue the run upwards as well right as long as this uh as long as this is going up and obviously it's the growth curve so it does go up infinitely here right so until we actually hit this i don't think we have topped for bitcoin anyway so uh for for that that's essentially what we're looking for here if it does recover here and, and the answer to the question here is yeah we shouldn't really be buying this we shouldn't really be buying this now but if the recovery looks good and the reversal is there then we can buy and then it's going to be better for a trade uh, and yeah there's money to be made there for sure so that's what i would say there the other thing i would say here is uh obviously if we do lose the bull market barrier it's important to be cautious it's important to say right uh, where are the areas where we could potentially bounce that first area is going to be 28k in my opinion obviously 30k there's going to be some support um and uh, 40k as well, right? But uh, 40k is where that bull market barrier bottom area is, as well as the 200 EMA. So uh, in the daily, that's what I would say there. And uh, if we are just looking to see uh, how we kind of relate to the daily volume weighted ATR bar, uh, band in, in the other run here, right? In the last run, we didn't even touch it for a long, long time, as you can see, right? Uh, we, we didn't even touch it after breaking through the bull market barrier until we lost 6k. Okay, so uh, it's going to be an interesting one this time. And you can see pretty much every time we've hit this on a daily, uh, it's been fantastic for support at the end of the day, a uh, very good reversal areas. So if we are looking at this this time, it's very high up, 28K at the moment. Uh, if we did get a massive girthy crash, which again, I, don't, I think that's the least probable thing to happen. I do think we recover from here. I just feel like a tweet shouldn't do that to the market, right, at the end of the day. Yeah, a little dump down to where we were before Elon uh, tweeted, right? Again, Elon didn't start this bull market, okay? And that's a really important factor here. We were going up before Elon. Um, this is something my brother said as well. Um, and yeah, it's something that is true at the end of the day. So uh, if we're looking at this, yeah, 28K is a potential bottom here, but I really don't expect to go below 40. If we go below 40... Uh, it's going to be a pretty game changing in terms of structure. And I do think we have to change up the plan a little bit, uh, potentially look look towards a bear market as well. Right. So that's what I would say there. Uh, and that's pretty much my my goal here for Bitcoin. Get back above that 58K zone, get it going and then ride that up for a wave. Right. If it doesn't happen, then we'll look for trades in this area as we kind of recover or uh, as we basically come down here over time. Uh, and, and really get out of this indecisive area, right? Uh, in, in conclusion here with Ethereum, we have banged it down here. And I actually sold my Ethereum at 41, so pretty good stuff here. And we are just kind of chilling from this point. So I think I actually sold my Ethereum, uh, like, not, not on this wave down, but, like, this wave somewhere around here, right, as we were coming down. So 
yeah, in terms of Ethereum, volume weighted ATR ban on a four hour, we are just testing that right now. If we do lose that, pretty bad here. Uh, potentially could c come as low as th uh, 3,000, right? Uh, so yeah, be careful with that. But that is a, a crucial area for support. And what I will say here, if we are just looking, we are just looking at the patterns here. Uh, we can say, yeah, this measure move is played out towards the downside. So if we're going to bounce, it's got to be around here. Otherwise, yeah, I would expect to test this trend line, uh, which is around 3,100, 3,000. That kind of area is going to be important, and I would expect bounces from there. And we'll just see what pattern forms from that area. If, if, if pattern forms that's good and we do continue up from there, great. If it comes down, then we'll uh, we'll look for patterns and we'll look for areas for bounces like the 2,300 here, the volume weighted ATR band, right? That's going to be the video, guys. I will see you. In the next one, peace out and goodbye from Bitcoin Beats.